Hi, this is Carla from the One Stop Boutique in Sunnyside. I'm just going to play around today. I couldn't go to church, so I thought, I still can't walk. So I thought I would just record this. Got this little ring at the, it's 18 inch ring. I think from Walmart last year. It was just in my leftovers. I've got a little bit of this uh, snowball mesh, and I thought I would to see what I can come up with here. So, uh, I, uh, we have 22 uh, ties. And they're real little, so I'm just gonna play around for a minute. I got a bunch of my stuff in yesterday from uh, Sims, and I got so many cute things, I just have to. Okay, what I'm gonna do is Let's see if this is even going to be too big or not. It might be just too big. thought maybe I'd do like a centerpiece instead of uh, anything else. See, I'm doing about oh, 10 inch. Maybe I'll just use the outside rings and do something different with the inside rings. about 10 inch. I'm just gathering them in. camera very good on this. Let me see if I can adjust it a little bit. Maybe I could, uh, when I get through with this, I could probably scrunch it together and make a really cute centerpiece. Let's see.
could almost do the bubble with this, this kind of ring. I think we could do the bubble. We used every one of them. I just have uh, half a row of this though. Uh oh, I don't have enough to finish this whole ring. So let's improvise. put a bow or something right there. Let's see. I've got a bow here. Let's see if I can. I made a Christmas bow. Oh, yeah. Let's 
let's just try something. Squeeze it together. See how that works. Oh, that would make a pretty centerpiece. Just the right size. See, I have all this on the inside, so could probably stand it up and uh, do some fun with it. <laughs> Maybe we could twist these together. That's what we'll do. Twist these together and then they'll stay. I think you can buy these rings at uh, Walmart for just a couple dollars. I know they're not very expensive. And this uh, snowball mesh uh, craft outlet has it. Uh, Trendy Tree has it. I think Deco Exchange has it. It's about ten dollars a row. Okay, see, we've made a base for it. This uh, snowball material, it looks absolutely gorgeous on um, your candy canes. Last year, uh, Trendy Tree had, um, it was a two-piece candy cane, and I think it ended up something like 38 inches. And boy, was it pretty. Okay, see we have that nice uh, base for a centerpiece. Well, I wasn't planning on this, so let me step away a second and I'll get some ribbons. I'll put you on, I'll put on pause so we, you don't have to wait. Well, it turned off, but I'll go ahead and do this. Um, I got some really cute ribbons from uh, in my stash yesterday. Look at this, not that cute? this yes. 
going to have to take a, do a live, have my girls come over and get everything I got and stack it on my table so I can show all of you. Okay, so, and here's, I love this one. Okay, so what all I'm going to do is make, uh, do 11 tails of each, 12, 11 at 12 inches long. one and every one I think. I've got my little board that uh, measures for me at my store. So I made a little one of these cardboards. Uh, this is this way measures 12 inches. This way measures 14 inches. So it's just an easy way to Cut time in half, actually, doing that. Okay. And of course, that tail. Some call it dovetail, some call it chevron. I just call it ducktail. this and everyone so maybe I'll do for this one for almost a month trying to recover with from this hip replacement and boy am I getting cabin fever got out one day to go to uh, city council and that was all I've made it city council and the doctor one day <laughs>
maybe I'll do uh, this in every hole. I'm hoping I make it back to the store this week. I don't have any of my fun stuff here. All my decorations for Christmas and for fall. Missed one. <clears throat> okay, what I like to do is put them together before I uh, and I just have to pick them up. to do four more of these.
Can you see that? That way they're all together. <clears throat> and I don't have to be hunting them down. I always make a nice little crease in there. Okay, you just take the three, pinch it, go into the next twist. I twist that about three times and separate. I think I'll just put them off to the side on each one. That kind of looks good. Make them go all one way. We'll see how that looks. No, I like it. I'll do one more and then I'll go and finish it so you don't have to wait for everything. Pinch it a little tight. Just make sure it's in the middle. You can either undo these twists or not. I, I usually don't undo them. Separate them. I like them just going one way. Three towards the uh, bottom and three towards this set. It looks like that. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, there it is. And what I'm gonna do is uh, Get this out of my way for a minute. <laughs> okay, I've got these little balls here. My, uh, this needs something to make it pop. So what I'll do is uh, just stick these on the edges of the twist ties. Let's 
see how they work. Don't need the hot glue on. If I was at the store, I would get some little ornaments and glue them on there. I still might do that too. Not sure. My daughter said she'd go up and get me some stuff today, so maybe. Let's see, that just makes it pop. They're all different sizes. This is what they are. You can just uh, buy them at Walmart. I think they're only like $1.99 each for 12. Set of 12. Package of 12. <clears throat> Duke, don't you bark. See, that turned out cute. set this aside and do a bow. making your bow I like to do about uh, 30 inches and you need to make two of them one for your base and one for your uh, guide You can get the uh, Pro Bowl, the hand, at www.probowlthehand.com. I think they have it on uh, Amazon. You can buy it quite a few different places. But if you have arthritis, it's the best thing in the world. And what I like to do is... Uh, A lot of them just take the whole, both sides of the bow and do them, but I like to do mine each step, tie mine each step because 
when I'm working at the store, I don't ever know when the phone's going to ring or when I have a customer come in. Okay, just tie it like this, wrap that wire around, put the pretty side to the front, then wrap your top wire. And then your bottom wire, there's a little nail right there. You put it under there. And then I stick the extra wire just out here. See now, most people that don't have arthritis, they can do this and then do the whole bow. But, uh, I just do mine one at a time, and that way I know if the phone rings or whatever, I can don't have to lose the whole thing that I work on. Then make one wire go up and one wire go down. Do a nice little twist, and I like two in the middle. And bring it back to the center. Do a nice little twist and tie. I have a, a staggered bow that I do, and it ends up great, big, and full. For this, I won't need it, but. Uh, it's really a pretty bow, like maybe for your toppers and your trees or something that like you might want a great big bow on. Can you hear my chimes on the video? <laughs> they're outside, but they're, it's a great big bass one. And uh, it just sounds so pretty. It sounds like a church bell ringing. Okay, you pinch. Pinch it real tight like that. Set it up against the bass. Like I said, I always tie it with the wire each time. Now you don't have to if you uh, don't want to, but it, I just find it's easier for me. Put it around there, come to the center. Just squeeze it in there. Do a nice little twist. Hold, put it over the peg, twist, I mean, gather, twist, and tie. If you have any questions on this, uh, I'm going to uh, upload this to YouTube. Just put your questions in the comments. and I'd like you to share and like so I can get out there a little bit. Okay, duct tail that end. Pretty face. Pretty side to the front. Oh, I pinched my ribbon. Just gather that in like a little accordion pleat. If 
fold and tie. Come right straight out from this uh, center peg. Come to the center, gather, twist. Back to the center, gather, twist, and tie up. white in this to give it a little bit of oomph. This is another new one that I just got. I love it. Remember to put your pretty side to the front. Gather. twist gather twist and tie I think the real trick to, to the Pro Bow is making sure that this is just straight out. The wire, your guide wires that you tie it with, if this line is straight out, then it makes for a perfect bow every time, every time. <coughs> Gather, tie, get it around that peg, gather. Twist, the other side, bring it back to the center, gather it, twist, tie. See how nice that is? How uniform 
she invented a beautiful hand here of Probo. trying to get enough likes on my page and then I get up if you put your name down I'll put you in uh, for a chance to win one of these pro bows all you need to do is share and like my page it's Casey's One Stop Boutique on Facebook. And I have a website that's uh, Casey's One Stop Boutique. It's www.kcsonestopboutique.com. I've got all my products on there. Not all of them, but most of them. I still got to do some work, put some more in. Didn't realize I had so much stuff in my shop until I made an Etsy store. <laughs> and I think I'll do another white. I had a red out, but it's got too much in it, I think. center together twist back to the center At this time, I like to go through uh, through here to make sure all of these are under one another, like they're supposed to be. Just to make sure they're all I like to do my wires together. So this first wire that your guide wire, put one side to each side, the opposite side. And do the bottom one that's on the nail, and then the top one, and then just give it a little squeeze to kind of get them together and then tie it again and what I'd like to do is take these and uh, wire them together or put them together twist them together
and just lift it off. There you have it. Okay, you can buy these fluff boards, I'm sure, but I didn't. I just bought one of these hanging ones from Walmart. Put a nail in here and then put a set screw up here. And all you do is take your wire, go underneath, and then nail it or wrap it around that nail. And it's standing up there nice and pretty. Take one, tail to one side, and the loop to the other side. And just alternate that each time. See how pretty that turned out. I'll just go up the other side and do the same. Tail, loop. I like to bring my tails in, or my loops up a little bit on some of them. There you have it. Pretty little bow. Just take a little off the of his nail. There 
it is. Okay, let's see how this is going to look. <laughs> This is going to look really pretty with the cute ornaments on it. And just get your bow the way you want it to look. That's as much as I can do today until my uh, daughter brings me over some. She said she'd stop at my store and bring some ornaments and stuff. But I'll post pictures when I get it done. There you have it, a nice little... look really pretty with some... Oh, some... pine cones and some nice big balls, ornaments, some uh, berries. There you have it. Okay, I want to thank you for watching and um, like I say, please like and uh, share if you will and uh, come visit my Etsy shop. It's uh, Casey's One Stop Boutique. Also, my web page is the same, and my Facebook is the same. I think my YouTube is the same. If you have any comments or questions about uh, how to do any of this, uh, leave a comment below and subscribe. Okay, thanks for watching and you guys have a wonderful